Welcome back to Much Music. You're watching an intimate and interactive with uh, the girl to my right right here, Christina Aguilar. You guys having a good time so far? How about you outside there? I can't hear you back there. Yep, they're there. They're there. The, vo the voice is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Hmm? Your voice. My voice? It's a beautiful thing. Oh, well, thank you. It's a beautiful thing. It's, 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 oh, so, it's so powerful. Thank you. I'm just so, oh, gosh. I just got over, like, being, you know, I had the flu really bad for a while. So I'm just, like, losing my voice by the second. I don't know how I'm going to do it the rest of the way. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's called uh, hot lemon. Well, lemon and uh, tea with honey. Hot that'll tea. Help, hot tea. That'll help the voice. I guess, yeah. Um, what is it about your voice that you mm. think is so unique, so special? See, I don't. She can actually sing. I like that. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure. I guess. Well, my influences. I mean, growing up, I, I really listened to records. I listened to a lot of the blues. Um, Etta James being one of my favorite uh, blues singers, which um, I'm gonna do a cover for you in a few seconds of her. Um, a song called At Last. I listened to Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, um, Brian McKnight. Uh, those are my favorite vocalists. So, trying to find my own sound somewhere in there. Do you think you um, ha have room to grow still with your vocal range, or do you think you've mastered? Do you think you've got to that level? I think there's always it, room to grow. Because it sounds like, to me, I don't know about <laughs> you guys out there, but how better can you get? How much better can you get? Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to stop that now. I'm sorry. <laughs> but there's always room to grow? There's always room to grow, yeah. Stretching every day, exercising. There's it. not much more room for you. Right. <laughs> the voice is really good. Uh, Kristen's on the phone line with us right now. Kristen, how are you doing? Good. Good to see you, good to hear you. I can't really see you, but good to hear you. Hey, Kristen. This is Christina right Hi. here. You want to say hello? Hello. Hey. Hi. Do you have a question? Um, yeah, well, first I want to say I'm a really big fan of yours. Thank you. Thank and, you. Um, my question is, what is the biggest misconception people and the media have about you? Um, oh gosh, everybody's trying to say something all the time, misinterpret stories and, and things that I do, and it's, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to deal with at times. And, um, well, uh, probably the weirdest thing is just how, you know, there's been a lot of uh, press within the last year comparing all of us and putting, like, rivalry between me and other artists, and it's just so untrue and so ridiculous, and it's really sad that people have to find stories like that and try to create gossip, and um, it, it's just sad. So that's something that I think is the biggest misconception is that, you know, there's comp such competition or rivalry between artists out there, and we're all different things, and it's just a matter of time before everyone totally sees it. And um, listen to the record, you know, you'll hear that you s see the difference in the live. I mean, it's all, it's all different, so. Kristen, thank you very much for the call. Okay, bye. Uh, no problem. See you. Have a good night, all right? Enjoy the rest of the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Um, now, being a performer today, do you find um, that there's a double standard when it comes to what's accepted between guys and girls and what they can do up on stage and off stage and their behavior? Ah, the gender question. Um, you mean among celebrities? Among celebrities. Most, most, uh... I think there's a total double standard. I mean, I totally felt it over the last year. Certain things that I would do, I was at a certain place with uh, a couple members of the Backstreet Boys and um, <laughs> a couple members of, um, uh, what was it, 98 Degrees and Carson Daly, who's a, who's a VJ back in uh, the States. And, um, I think Joey was there too. Hey, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Joey was there. Um, and um, it was a place that... Um, <laughs> I didn't even know where I, where I was until... Um, <laughs> well, anyway, um, it's like things that I do, I think things that me or even other young female artists, Britney included, um, other, you know, people, I mean, I think it's unfair, the double standard thing, just because uh, a lot of the things that a lot of male artists do are forgiven, are much quicker, you know, like, we, d we were doing the same thing one night, and I totally got bad press for it the next day, and nobody said anything about them, and it's, it's kind of like... It's, it's kind of ridiculous, I think, how the press wants to start. You know, I was reading an article the other day. It's like, naughty and not so nice, talking about young teen art, female artists. I was just like, whatever. And the guys are praised for doing it. Oh, so praised hand. for doing whatever. You know, their little crotch grabs and pelvic thrusts. And, you know, it's just like, you know, no, everybody ignores it and says, oh, how great they are. And, I mean, they're amazing and talented. I'm not trying to diss them, but I'm just saying how unfair it is that the media tries to, you know, put such a double standard on it. So... Whatever. Very good, uh, very good answer. A uh, question here from Steve Gomez, I think in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's an email question. It'll be up there. It reads, I heard on a Disney commercial that you have a tattoo of Mickey Mouse. 
Uh, I was wondering if this is true, <laughs> and if so, where the tattoo might be. <laughs> uh oh, now. Easy, it's a family program here. Oh, no. Um, you have a tattoo that... of Mickey Mouse? No, this is a commercial that was just for fun that I did for Disney. I was talking about a tattoo. It was just a crazy thing. There is no tattoo of Mickey Mouse on my body. <laughs> is there a tattoo of Minnie Mouse? Uh, no, there isn't. Pluto? No. <laughs> Donald Duck? <laughs> Your sound no. man over there, give me some... Uh... No, not even Donald Duck? Okay. Any fake tattoos? No. Okay. Mm -mm. All right, then. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the night right here is where we get to call up one lucky audience member... They get to take my spot. They get to ask you some questions. They might even take my job at the end of the night. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for this? Are you into this? Totally, totally. Here is the name. Are you, okay, are you excited? You guys got to be excited for this. Possibly, possibly the biggest Christina Aguilera fan out there. So here we go. The name of the lucky person is Christina Balian. Christina? Christina Balian? Give it up for Christina Balian. Oh, yeah. Christina, come on up. <laughs> Christina. Meet, meet Christina. Hi. And uh, nice to Christina, you. you take my seat right here. I'm going to stand right here just in case you need me, okay? But uh, get that mic up to your uh, okay. uh, throat Ooh, like this, uh, mouth like this, All mic right. technique, and, and go away. Uh, ask away. Ask your questions. You ready? Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. It's such an honor to be sitting here with you right Thank now. You. So good. Nice to meet you. So good to meet you. Um, okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to choose between your career or true love with somebody, which one would you choose and why? Oh. Um, well. <laughs> what a question. Um, well, I'm not in, you know, I'm 19 years old. I'm not in a rush to get married or anything. You know, I'm not too much in a rush. I mean, one day, yes. But, you know, I'm very focused on my career and that's what I do, you know, maintain the focus on you know what I mean it's it's very important to me I have so much work on my plate but um but love is really important it's really important to have somebody in your life that is there for you as a supporter I mean especially with this lifestyle and, and what you go through on a regular basis it's really really crazy and um and it's sweet I actually fell in love for the first time over the past oh, year goodness. yeah so um it's it's a special thing you know but right now I'm very focused on my career that's good that's good <laughs> Who did you fall in love with? <laughs> <laughs> That's top secret. Oh. That's a good follow-up question, you see. You see that she's falling in love, you ask her who she's falling in love with. I'm still learning. <laughs> I don't think she's going to give it to us, though. No, no. All right. Keep going. Um, going up to uh, before you got your record label, did you have to fight for it? Did you have to make any sacrifices, anything? Um, <clears throat> uh, growing up in the business? Yeah. Well, I mean... I mean, of course, I think uh, I missed my last four years of high school. Do you know what I mean? I mean, this is my college experience, you know? So those are the things you do miss. I think growing up, being around kids your own age, you know, I do maintain friends. I, st I still have friends from high, so I think that's so important to keep the friends that you had before all the success happened. Do you know what I mean? So, um, so uh, you, there's a give and take in everything, but I have no, you know, this is what I'm meant to do. This is what, where my heart's at. And, um, you know, if I would have still been in that school, I would have been looking out the window going, what if I would have followed that dream? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm graduated now and everything, but just certain things like high school dances, things, you know, so you do um, miss out a little bit, but, um, but I'm experiencing a whole of other things. What? Good answers, but, but good <laughs> questions. You. Very good questions. Give it up for Christina here, everyone. Very good questions. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. I think you get my job at the Enjoy. end of the show. Um, the Wandering Speaker's Corner has traveled over to Montreal, and if you guys want to uh, look at the monitor up there, there's a question from Montreal. Go ahead, Montreal. Hi, Christina. This is uh, Julie from Montreal. I was uh, wondering how important it is for you to stay true to your Latin roots. My Latin roots. Um... Well, my father is from Ecuador, South America, and my mother is American Irish, so I'm a bit of both. And, um, well, I mean, growing up huh, in a Spanish-speaking household when I was young, before my parents got divorced, and I moved to Pittsburgh, where nobody spoke it, you know, and I, my ear was lacking. But um, right now, it, it, is, it is very important to me. I've wanted to make a Spanish record for a long time, and now give, I'm given the opportunity. So I've been in Miami for the last few weeks recording it and getting it done, and uh, I'm really excited about the release. It should have a fall release date. And... Um, Finding out more about it, going to Ecuador, where my father's originally from, that's all important to me. So, um, we're exploring that now. 
So would we be able to get a little taste of what that might sound like? Like, say for example, genie in a bottle. Genio atrapado. Hey, Is that the translation? Genio Espanol? atrapado. Si. Um, <laughs> that's all I know, so don't go any further with me, okay? So would, would we be able to get like a little taste of the Spanish version of that? It, would you like that? Right would you guys like that? It, it's up to you, but... Como un genio atrapado espero ven ven a sacarme de aquí. <laughs> That's nice. As as a key, as a key. Um, <laughs> the email uh, which I have right in my hand right here. We're gonna get get that out to you right now. Uh, if you want to take a look at the screen up there, I'm a number one fan. This is from Patrick. Uh, I love you so much. You're so inspiring. I would just like to know who was your first crush. On? It says, thank you. Um, gee, I don't know if I can remember that far back. Um, ah, my Little first Jimmy in crush. Pittsburgh or something. Um, yeah, it was probably somebody in first grade. No, I had a big crush on the boy next door whenever I was, um, uh, like, five. I actually remember this. His name was Adam, and he was really cute. And he had brown hair and brown eyes. And, um, <laughs> and uh, my dad came out and caught us kissing, and I was like, oh. So <laughs> that was my first little little puppy love when I was um, like five and living in Japan. <laughs> right on. Lucky Adam. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a, uh, I believe, an audience question. Is that what we're doing here? Audience question? Adam, is it? Ryan. Uh, Ryan, sorry, Ryan, you're back there. Say hi to Christina and uh, Ryan, go ahead with your question. Hi, Ryan. Um, hi. <laughs> hi, Christina. <laughs> hi, Christina. I'm Ryan and this is JC and we're hi. huge fans. We love you. Thank you. I heard that your new album leans towards more R&B than hip hop. Um, more R&B <laughs> than, than pop. pop. And we were just wondering if that decision to kind of change your style of music was influenced by wanting to appeal to an older audience and kind of expand your fan base at all. Well. Or um, <clears throat> it's always or, was, it. or was it more of a natural progression of your like maturing and growing up? I think it's definitely been something inside of me that, I, that has been wanting to come out. You know what I mean? This first record is, is very pop driven and because of my age and uh, just coming aboard and, and being signed and feeling out who I was as an artist, I did actually want the first album to lean a little bit more towards R&B even back then when I was like 17 and brought aboard. But, um, but uh, there's always room to grow from. So I'm really, really excited about even rocking it out a little bit. You know what I mean? Just taking it bringing other musical inflections into pop, into what I do, and um, taking it more to that side, that's, that's really important to me. It's just a natural feel, totally natural feel. This is something I've been pushing for with the label, actually, for a while. So um, I'm excited. I'm really, uh, you'll see a, a lot of different things on this next album. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Hey, you guys look great, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Are you a couple? You. Are you a couple? No. <laughs> you guys no. are great. Oh, you're cute. They dressed up you for the occasion. They did. They just saw so cute. So check this out. People are handing me bags and, and gifts and everything like this. Uh, the oh, no. Now, this is something that people, I don't know if they've ever seen this yet before. <laughs> but I, I'm going to bring it out of the bag here. And it's a uh, Christina Aguilera. Uh, is this a doll? This yes. is a doll. Is it a singing? Is that what this is? A singing doll? This is a what this is that? Is Explain Christina that. Christina Aguilera doll. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um... I'm, I'm kind of doesn't look like me, but we'll get over that. And you press her tummy, I guess. Wait. Yeah, can we? Let's, uh... <laughs> so it sings, uh... You can Jeannie get a, a mess. Story near you. A Toys R Us near you, so... She just keeps singing and singing. And I don't know. She, she'd get on my nerves. I'm going to shut her up. So. <laughs> I don't know about her. Can, now, can, there's can another doll out there. there. Yeah, you can put that down there. Sure. I think Buddy wants it back there, but just put it down right there for now. There's another doll out there. I think this is like a, a fashion doll as well. If um, she comes correctly. in a lot of different outfits. Different outfits. They're all um, from the video. So um, you can pick one up. Um, but don't press her tummy. <laughs> don't press it too hard. Uh, another fax. Uh, hey, much music and Christina. Uh, Christina, can you please say hi uh, to, to my babe, Jason McPhee? He loves you. And I want to ask, what is your favorite part of being so famous and well-respected? Thanks bunches. Melanie Stone from Nova Scotia. And it says Nova Scotia loves you on the bottom there. There's <laughs> oh, some beautiful lobster out there in Nova Scotia. I love Sweet. Nova Scotia. It's uh, the, the lobster there. So do you want to answer so that Jason, question then? Oh, uh, well, yeah. first I'll say hi to Jason. Okay. How are you? Um, <laughs> oh, is he out there? No, I think, I think he's... <laughs> On the, 
Okay. I think he's on the east coast of Canada. Oh, okay. Your favorite part of being so famous My and well-respected? My favorite part is probably, um, probably moments like, like this, whenever I get to talk to my fans one-on-one, -on -one, the people that are, you know, why I'm even here in the first place doing what I'm doing. I mean, it's, it's incredible to be on a stage. The live, I'm a true lover of live performing, so that's probably whenever I can really <clears throat> uh, just uh, be in the most comfortable place for, for myself, you know. I mean, it's, it's so beautiful to be on stage. And You're going to love it start, starting in July then. Yes, yes, my wow. first time. Headlining your own tour and all. Yes. Uh, let's go back outside because I am schwitzing over here. Uh, so let's go say hello to um, all the good people who have been waiting for a while. If you don't mind. Oops. Yeah, you can bring can that with you. Give that to them? Yeah. Here, you can have uh -oh. it as well. That's cool, there you I go. guess. Lucky guy, you! <laughs> Lucky guy. It is getting a little, uh, little darker out here, but it's, uh, it's cool as well. Hey guys. And we like that. Christina, one more time. Look at them all over there. <laughs> Look at them all way over there. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. We have we have a few more questions down here. So, if you guys could if you guys can keep it down for a bit, just keep it down. We got to get some uh, to some more questions. Michelle. Michelle. Michelle has a question. Hi, Christina. I'm Hi. Michelle, and this is my friend Kelly. And um, I just wanted to know with your career, uh, there's so much pressure going on in general. I just wanted to know what do you do to keep yourself grounded. I think um, staying true to myself and remembering who I was, um, staying close to the people that are true supporters of me, keeping the friends that I've always had before in high school, um, my, my mom, my sister, like all the people that are really close to me. So um, maintaining that friendship and my spirituality and uh, trying to make the best decisions I possibly can. Good answer. Uh, Tisha, Tisha down here has a question. Tisha, go ahead. Hi, Christina. <laughs> Wondering. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, okay. You're always on the on TV and the media and everything. And little the younger generation looks up to you and the way you dress and the way you do your hair and your makeup. Yeah. How do you handle the responsibility of the younger generation looking um, up to you? That's a tricky thing, just because you know I'm a, I'm a musician, I'm an artist, and I'm going to express myself in ways that not everybody's going to agree with all the time. You know, I can't please the whole world, and everybody is you know, uh, trying to look for certain things here and there uh, to get me on and not everybody, you know, the decision that I make for myself might not be right for other people. So, um, so I just have to follow my heart and go with it and hopefully make the best decision possible. Very good answer. One last question out here. Good uh, question, Tisha. Uh, Francesco, where's Francesco? Say hi to Christina. Hi, Christina. Hey. Hi. I was just wondering, if you could change, if you could change anything about yourself at all, what would it be and why? Um, probably to stop being such a messy eater. I ask anybody that knows me. I just like I'm always spilling things on myself. I'm I'm the messiest eater in the world. I'm crumbs all over me. Like I'm not good with napkins or silverware. I don't, I don't know, but <laughs> so bi bigger. I'll work on that. Bigger bibs, maybe. More from Christina. Live performance. More chatting as an intimate and interactive with Christina continues shortly. Come on back and join us. Ooh, it's crazy. Thanks a lot. Let's go back. Here. Let's go. 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 Let's go.